Welcome back to the lesson. Um, so this is where we left off in part three, in lesson three. So we'll continue from here. And uh, I think in this lesson, we're going to be fixing the, the windows and the doors. OK, so let me actually adjust this one a little bit. Sorry, from here. Yes. So it's not pushing out from okay, just something like that. Okay. So um, let us move on. Continue to fix our windows here. So what I'm gonna do now is I will draw the 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 wind the aluminium profile the frame for this for this uh, particular one here. So to do that, let's start with the box. So I think what I can do is let me draw the whole thing at the origin and then I will uh, I'll just delete this one. Let us actually save our, I think we template this one before and structure. Okay, so let me also take this one and this one and also this one as well and uh, right click and add to that layer right there so this one I can just so for this one let me see also add it to the okay so now we have a clean a clean slate to work with so here we start with a box this box I'm gonna make it something like three by three all size to be three uh, three cm so I'm just gonna raise it up slightly so let's make it a little bit taller and so what I can do now is I will insert some edge loops around it i'm gonna use um let's say mesh tool this one right here insert edge loops which is this one right here so i'm gonna go to two settings and six let me see how six looks like mm, i think that's not what i want i can make it four okay i like this four so what I can do now is I will duplicate this one. Let me see. Two, three. No, I think I think I will make it five. Uh, let's say three. Like that. Yeah, so we use three like like this and then I will duplicate this one and put it here for you. then I will grab this face here this face and that face I'm going to extrude it you come here extrude click on that and I just bring it out a little bit maybe too much like this and then for this one i'll grab these two right here first of all i will select these two and bring it in a little bit and then i'll get these two right here extrude and push it out a little bit So now what I can do is I will rotate it 90 minus 90. So now I'm just going to bring it here, take it up. You see, for this one, it's really up to you. You can add as more details as you like. Okay. 
so this this is gonna be the frame of our of our windows so now I'm gonna add bevel just go here bevel maybe make it point two and four segments this one bevel point two and four segments so now what I can do is I grab this one duplicate it move it here delete history freeze transformation so I want this one facing the other side so what I can do is I press R on my keyboard and flip it and you come here and you have to make it minus one so now it's facing the other side okay so let me push it out a little bit bring it in right there and this one I'm gonna do the same duplicate it bring it down uh, delete history freeze transformation center the pivot press R do the same come here minus one like this and then I will center it just align it a little bit better like so so now I will combine this okay I will sorry now combine it go to um, mesh combine delete history like so and then increase it like that so this is gonna be the frame okay so now what we can do is let's create the 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 doors and windows itself so I bring in another box come here this time around i'm gonna make this one maybe 2.8 okay and for this one for this one i'm gonna make it around maybe seven and then increase it so what I can do now is hmm, So just checking. So what I can do now is bring this one down here. Let me see. So I'm gonna take my eight, add eight loop again. I'm gonna make this three. So. I'm gonna grab this one and this one this and that so I will extrude it Uh, one move it up here so next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate this one 
bring it here and let me isolate this one and actually delete okay and then fill that space again I think I made a mistake right there do now is make this one quite small and bring it here I'll grab this one something like this Let me duplicate it and keep it here and then I will take this to right here and bring it out just slightly and for this what I need to do is I'm gonna delete control delete and then I'm going to And send it back here uh, wait a minute I think this one I can actually use this one to do that um, just take this and that one right there select this and this and then I can bring them close like that okay maybe slightly this way and then I select this one and that remove that selection and just push it out a little bit okay so for this one I think we don't need that or maybe bring it back so that we can use use it to do our we we'll create a new one okay so I'm gonna save I can feel that my is trying to crash on me um, so what I can do now is I'm gonna duplicate this one bring it here turn it around oops freeze transformation maybe group it and then rotate like this minus 180 and then what I can do here now is for this one maybe click on this to move it back like so I think we can actually get rid of this one okay just maybe just get rid of it completely and we can use something maybe we don't need that one we bring in this one bring 
get out here. We don't need this this part right here. And this one as well. So we can now fill that hole once again. So what I'm gonna do right now is to fast forward it while you watch you can watch me do this. It's very simple, it's just uh, simple boxes. I'm just trying to uh, add more details as small details as I can to you can look at uh, any aluminum profile around you and just do the same okay so I'm gonna fast forward it and then I will when I'm done then we'll continue I think I've completed the frame here. So what I'm gonna do now is to add the geometry for that will be used for the glass. So let's increase that. Just bring it somewhere around here, and then. I'm just gonna bring it here okay this is gonna be the glass let me just give it a slight bevel maybe point two we are not gonna see it anyway so just leave it like that and then duplicate it and put it on the other side so now this is our window the frame and everything together so what I would do is I'm gonna group uh, actually let yeah I will let me combine it and delete history and freeze transformation and then I'm gonna save so I'm gonna bring back the main building so 
let's start with this window right here and position this one in place okay so let me position it a little bit like this So what I can do is I will pull it up like that just to make it okay so I'm gonna try to position it in the middle right here okay I think that is quite at the center so I'll select this one take it all the way here and then grab this one and send it that way And this is fine so what we need to do is we now duplicate this one and position it right here that we have this same kind of same size of uh, door or window maybe this one is a little bit bigger no I think is this should be the same size but just in case is you can just like grab one edge here and send it there and this one and just position it to match and maybe you can drag this one just put it at the center okay so the next one we're gonna do is this one right here slightly like so so you can see these ones here they are smaller windows so what we need to do is we need to divide this into two and use only one part so we can use it to cover here okay so let's do that let me save this in so what I'm gonna do right now is first of all to separate this Okay, so I will delete this class here. And I will grab this and this. This is our main frame. Okay, I'm going to combine that. Delete history. And then I'll grab it and probably bring it here so this part we don't need it again and I think this one as well is not needed let me see what else is missed left there so we we'll grab this one and then just move it right in place and then let's save and let's move it right there
okay I think we need to adjust this one a little bit okay good I think this is looking all right like this once again so let's duplicate it and just position it right there minus 90 and then we put it here so maybe what i'm gonna do off camera is duplicate it and just fill in all the other places so at this moment let us do our let us do the the curtains i'm gonna show you a quick trick to doing curtains okay so I'm just gonna use the size of this one right here and then go to the top view let's maximize it and let's me isolate that and bring it here so what I will do right now is I will remove my structure again and then let me save again and let's go to create curve tool let's use a CV curve tool and then what we can do is try to like this So now we can begin to let's grab this and position it a little bit more the way we want it. it doesn't have to be perfectly aligned or in order just You know how curtains look like so you can draw yours the way you want it okay the more organic the better so I'm gonna leave mine like this and uh, I'm gonna rebuild this curve the way it is because you can see all the placements of these uh, points are not they are not consistent so I'm gonna delete history and freeze transformation on this then I will go to curves rebuild go to the options and I'm gonna try using 100 uniform zero to one and then let's apply and let's see how that looks like maybe i will try 150 apply i think 150 is looking nice so i'm gonna close this so let's come back to our Here. so what we can do is let's bring it in front here but let's also make sure that is probably 
taller than our windows and we have to duplicate that and bring it quite down like this so we're gonna select the two like this and come to I believe it's in surface and then let's loft so this has created the curtains for us so what we need to do now we need to convert this to uh, polygons okay so you select it you go to edit mesh let me save edit mesh and uh, you go to convert knobs to poly so I'm gonna reset so for this one I'm gonna choose general quartz and uh, I'm gonna use pass off of isoperms and the same thing as this one I'm gonna let's say thirty five by let's say something like ten. Let's apply to see how that looks. I think we will increase that. Let's do forty five by ten. Let's undo that. Let's make it 60 by here. I'm going to use maybe five. I think this will be fine. Let me try to bring it here. Press three. I think I like it the way it is. Okay, just delete history let us save just close this one and for this we can just hide it group it and call it curves and then we just hide it okay and here we can just actually what I can do now is maybe um, let me see okay I can just squeeze it a little bit more three and then we can push it back so it's right there let's bring it our structure just bring it close enough but not touching something like this so what we can do is just to reduce it so we can see or even duplicate it Let's grab this one, bring it here, go to, um, let me see, the form, and we see lattice here. You, we, create the, we create lattice here, and we can just select that and Just make it look more like a cotton. Something like this. So when you're done, you just delete history and that will be gone. So let's take it back in place. I think I want to reduce it a little bit and put it there. Maybe duplicate it. Let's push it with and duplicate that one and maybe put it here. Okay. 
So just part of it showing is fine actually. Okay, something like that. Let's see if we view. Uh, so now I will also duplicate these ones and place them all in places. I think I'm just going to put it here and here and maybe one right there. Okay, so let's come into the next lesson and uh, see what else that we can be. Uh, maybe start building the environment okay so thank you for watching and then i will see you in the next lesson